What is up, everybody? It is Marshall here. I have another Wine Express tasting. And if you know me, you know I love me some Old Vine Lodi Zin. This is Creekview Vineyards. This is uh, 2015. 2015. Really great vintage. Uh, kind of all in California. Um, and it was warm. And for Zinfandel, especially in Lodi, maybe the best region in all of California for Zin. Really warm temperatures bring out all of that rich concentration on the fruit and so often bring about that really beautiful bramble character, which I'm excited to see if this still has. Uh, this is one of these small, tiny production wines. Uh, winemakers, Gregory Peterson, he started, you know, making wines in his backyard. Uh, ooh, look at that color. Garnet going on. Uh, just, you know, doing some, some small crushes, <sighs> a couple of projects for buddies. Next thing you know, he's got Creekview Vineyards, uh, opened up in San Martin, California, and just doing really tiny production on a couple of different varietals. These wines are really hard to find. Sample came across our, our desk and uh, we were kind of blown away that the bottle age on this 2015, how it comes across in the glass, because it's it's so well balanced. You know, Zinfandel is sometimes very like big and brash and spicy and fruity and you know, fun. This is a serious wine and I'm smelling it again and it still smells pretty serious. Uh, nice plum, right? Plum notes first. You got that um, kind of dried red cherry, some dehydration going on, 2015. We got some bottle age. As I said, look at the color, right? I know my hand doesn't really help there, but this is turning garnet now, right? Which this is what happens to these red wines. They lose color, they turn closer to brick as they age. That bramble fruit is there, that underbrush is there, that forest floor is there. Oh, that sweet tobacco note is there. Those baking spices, oh man, it's like cinnamon, graham cracker, pie crust. It's like, mm, it's like cherry pie on the nose. Beautiful integration of oak and really complex showing you know, primary, secondary, and tertiary aromas here. Let's give it a taste. Really complex on the palate. I mean, you know, Lodi is just an amazing region, region for Zin. It brings out the inherent character that Zin is meant to have, which the combination of red and black cherry that come out on the palate is actually uh, pretty amazing as it's opening up in the glass. Because you're getting this baked cherry pie, but with these beautiful little hints of that cassis and, and, and black fruit, but a lot of clove. There's a lot of oak on here. They don't say how, how long it's oaked or I, I checked, but there's, there's a good amount of oak and you can feel it and in a really good way. It's also high on alcohol, right? This is a, over 15% on, on the alcohol, so it's not bashful, but it has the acidity. It has tannin still, right? There's a little bit of grip here, even with the bottle age, and there's concentration. So you have the balance, which these high alcohol wines need to have in order to have that full body feel to it. Otherwise, the alcohol just comes across as hot, and this does not. This is a great value. This is a fantastic spring, summer, yeah, I know it's not there yet, but it's coming, trust me. And this is an ideal barbecue wine, right? Ribs, saucy ribs, um, steak, burgers. Oh, burger. This is like a burger wine. Love it. Uh, the value is tremendous. You're only going to find it here. And like I said, it's tiny production, not a lot of it. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Cheers.